Hi, this is Jamie Davis for Innovations in Patient Care. I'm here at EMS Today 2012 with our EMS 10 award winners and another of our three award winners that came in for the EMS Wilderness Medicine Medical Director Program. And I am excited to have Dr. Will Smith here. And you are based in Jackson, Wyoming. And I know we've uh, talked to your other colleagues that were involved in this program. But you actually, I think, to the traditional sense, are what most people would consider more likely to be in a wilderness setting in Jackson. It's true. Definitely a little bit more rural than other places in the country and throughout the world. But definitely we have a lot of the limitations that wilderness medicine is kind of tra traditionally known for. I know Dr. Millen was talking about even in Maryland, you know, a very urbanized area, at least in the eastern part of the state, uh, there are places that could be considered wilderness. Uh, but uh, where you are, is there any major differences when you look at how you apply wilderness medicine or wilderness EMS protocols to the setting? Is it, is it different or is wilderness EMS the same in Maryland versus the same in, in Jackson? I think that's one of the unique things about this course that we developed because <clears throat> wilderness medicine is very different and very unique for each uh, environment that you're going to be in. Whether or not you're, I'm medical director for a Grand Teton National Park and so if somebody's on the side of a cliff or high up in the mountains versus somebody down in a very other remote jungle type location. So I think it uh, needs to be very flexible and that's one of the things that we've trained the medical directors is to kind of allow that flexibility into the wilderness EMS system that they're working in. Now, in medical directors, uh, not necessarily even understand EMS in many settings. So here you are not just teaching them about wilderness medicine, but also about EMS as well. That's true, and so that's one of the great things that we've had with a partnership with the Wilderness Medical Society and the National Association of EMS Physicians. There are courses out there for EMS medical directors, but we've taken that one step further and actually kind of brought in the wilderness into that mix and kind of instructed the doctors on how to go out and be medical directors in some of these kind of more austere environments. What's the response been from the people that are taking your class, these medical directors that are wanting to learn more about uh, wilderness medicine and how it applies to the people they are working with as a medical director? It's actually a little overwhelming. Uh, we actually were expecting this to have a handful of students in our first class and we had our first class last November in uh, Tucson at a Wilderness Medical Society conference and we had over 40 participants. Wow. It really blew us away and so uh, we've got uh, two additional classes slated in the future and hopefully more after that. What are some of the things that you think are, are the biggest differences between what a medical director might understand about EMS in a traditional setting and a wilderness setting? I think part of it is just the background with the wilderness kind of uh, EMS system and how it's developed. It's been a little bit different than the traditional EMS system with the EMTs and paramedics. Um, there's more levels of certification and different types of training out there such as the wilderness first responder which sometimes isn't recognized in some of the mainstream EMS systems. So I think the big part is linking wilderness EMS into the mainstream EMS and I think that's kind of where the integration of the program we've developed uh, kind of lies. Is it just about autonomy uh, when you have that paramedic or that EMT out in a wilderness setting that they need to be more autonomous because they're in a more remote location or is it is it really about uh, trusting them to to do the right thing with the right training? Um, one of the things we talk about is medical oversight and so there's direct medical oversight and that's actually where you call the doctor up on the phone and say this is the situation we have how should we kind of take care of the patient in this unique setting Whereas wilderness EMS, there's a lot of times communication is a big issue, and so there's a lot more indirect uh, medical oversight. So better protocols, kind of better training with your providers, kind of helping them understand and know what to do in some of those different settings is one of the things that we've looked at. Well, it's really exciting, and congratulations for winning this award. And I really think it's exciting that you came up with this opportunity to uh, find another way to serve EMS, uh, the community, by helping our medical directors better understand what we do in the field. Uh, what do you think about programs like the EMS 10 program, where uh, innovators, somebody has a great idea, and they're not sure how to implement it, but they find a way, and they get out there, and they get it done? I think the EMS uh, 10 program is a great way to recognize people out there, give people that extra ambition to take that next step and get that program program kind of recognized and uh, this just helps springboard it on to uh, bigger and better things. Well, I want to thank you very much for joining me here and, and again congratulations it's exciting to uh, have this uh, program be part of this award. Great thank you appreciate you for having us. And I'd like to thank all of you for checking out this program. Again you can find this and all of the other winners 
for the EMS 10 Awards this year over as part of our audio podcast at Innovations in Patient Care. You can find that in iTunes and in other places. You can also check out the videos for all of the winners this year and a lot of the winners last year available both through Physio Control and via their Facebook page and their YouTube channel as well as via my other channels at mediccast.com and other places. So you want to just go ahead and search for EMS 10 Awards and Innovations in Patient Care and you'll find it there. Thank you.